Sari, I am Nathan and today in this PSLE 2016 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 3. So in my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's move on to question 3. So this is question 3, okay? So in question 3, we, they, are, they are testing us on the topic of percentage. And in percentage, there are many subtopics like percentage increase, percentage decrease, percentage GST discount. Okay, so in percentage, this question is mainly testing us on percentage increase. Okay, so I'll explain to you how do we use percentage increase to solve this question. Okay, so let's read the question first. The number of visitors to a museum was 9,000 in August. This was a 20% increase from the number in July. How many visitors were there in July? Okay, so this is the question. Now that we have read the question, let's highlight the key information. So the number of visitors to a museum was 9,000 in August. This was a 20% increase. See this word increase here? Increase. So this increase refers to this okay okay so this was a 20 percent increase from from the number in july how many visitors were there in july okay so i hope you understand the keywords and the question right now so now let's move on to solving the question Okay, in order, to, in order to solve this question, we need to know what is July? How many percent is July and August? So July, it is a mystery mark percentage. Okay? We do not know it. So August, they've told us that this was a 20%. So this, this over here refers to August. So, August was a 20% increase from the number in July. So, basically, August is mystery mark percentage plus 20%. Okay? Okay, so here we need to use the concept of using the base. So, the base is always 100%. So, July is 100%. The base is where the increase or decrease is coming from. Okay, so if I say that July increased from July increased 20% from August, that means that July August is 100% while July increased from it. Or if I say that so the the base is basically what is from the thing okay so from july so july is the base okay so this is how it works from july so if i say uh july was a 20 percent decrease from august that means august becomes 100 percent while july becomes a decrease of 20 percent so 100 percent minus 20 percent equals to july okay so um this is the same thing that we must imply to august right now so I hope you understand that. Okay, so July is 100%. So now, this is what we do. Just like I said, so 100% is the base July, okay, here. While August was a 20% increase, so 100% plus 20% equals to 120%. Okay, so I hope you understand that. So August is 120%, okay. See? See, this is what I meant. Mystery mark percentage is actually 100 percentage. So this is how we get it. Okay. So since we know that August is 120 percent, we know that it is 9,000 percent. Wait, sorry, 9,000. So 120 percent refers to 9,000. Okay. A uh, quick disclaimer: we cannot write 120 percent equals to 9,000 because that will be wrong. 120 percent does not equal to 9,000. It is equal to um it's so much lesser than 9000 if you put 120 percent in fraction right it was it's much lesser than 9000 you can go check it if you want okay so we must always write the arrow sign if not teachers will penalize you even if the teachers do not penalize you um, 
in the in the class lessons or the class exam but the teachers will penalize in PSLE okay so do be mindful of that so now next since that we know that 120 percent is 9,000 now we can move on to finding July July is 100 percent right so we know that July is 100 percent but in order to find July we need 1 percent we need to find 1 percent first so let's find 1 percent so 1 percent is basically 9,000 divided by 120 which is equal to 75 okay 1% refers to 9000 divided by 120 equals to 75 you can write equals over here because 9000 divided by 120 is equal to 105 okay so you can write it like this now we got 100% now since that we got 1% we can find 100% so 100% refers to 75 times 100 which is equal to 7500 okay so this is the answer for question three okay so i hope you understand my explanation for question three percentage and increase okay percentage increase so thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye